But today's from the install bay. We have another 911 emergency on a car stereo install. Stay tuned. So what we have here is this Hyundai. He had his buddy install a stereo for him. He's having some problems. He brought it in. We're just gonna gut it, reinstall everything. So let's take a look and see what we're dealing with first. Pop the hood. So what we have here first is an excessively long piece of four gauge wire that's just tucked in here next to the ground. Uh, the ring terminal itself, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the fuse holder is missing the plastic end here. So my favorite is they didn't bother to go through the grommet, they just pulled the grommet out. Yeah, this wire is kind of neat. Actually, this wire goes to nothing. This is just wrapped like this. This is what he's using to secure the amplifier. I mean, secure the box, I should say. This literally just goes up through a piece of metal and back down, and they're using the amp to screw it into place. This spaghetti here is the uh, speaker wires, the RCAs, and all that stuff. Uh, there's a capacitor hidden up underneath here. Okay, before we get too deep into this install, I would like to preface this by saying we're, we're not trying to pick on the previous install. It may seem like we are, but we're not. Uh, we take installation very seriously, we do this for a living, we do this every day and when we see things that are wrong, we like to point them out. Uh, and, and they're wrong by our standards. Not everyone out there does the same thing the same way. Uh, so yes, we are going to show you things that were done wrong on this in hopes that it will help you do a better install in your car. So let's get back to the install. Off. We have this adapter. Yeah. Wire nuts. Wire nuts. All right, so this is what we're gonna use for our amp board. We're gonna mount these amps as high up on this as we can. So it'll sit basically like this. That way we'll have enough wire space here to run our wires off of either side. Um, and they won't interfere with each other. So let's get some screws and mount these amps. For this install, we'll be using SoundQuest 100% copper, the SQ1200XS kit. Now our standard wire failures won't fit into this particular Alpine amplifier, so what we're gonna do is we're going to tin the end here with solder, uh, so that when we screw it down, it won't crush the wire. <laughs> So what we've done is we've added solder to make this a solid lug. Uh, and then we've sanded it down a little bit to make sure that it fits into the amplifier just like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I got time to bleed.
right, so we have our amps hooked up. We have our radio in the dash. We're basically done with the wiring and everything. Now we're going to phase check every speaker, make sure that they're all in phase and moving in the right direction. The sound you hear in the background is the phase pops. We're gonna go ahead and test each speaker. Okay, so this is the speaker we took out of the car. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but I'm assuming that's what's wrong with this woofer. Alright guys, that brings this one to a close. We've got this sucker tuned, sounding good. No more engine noise. The amplifier doesn't clip off. There's no fire hazard underneath the uh, engine compartment anymore. Um, I don't know what else we could have done. It looks pretty. Yes, it is. Um, thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, you guys have a great night. We hope you enjoy these. Please subscribe and all that. Thumbs up. We'll see you later next time. Bye. Hello? Hello. Who is the douche? Please. Put your hands up.